Hi, welcome. Okay, this is going to be a little crazy video that I'm doing that I almost have to chuckle to myself, but I wanted to do almost like a before and after of this particular deck and kind of like um, letting you guys all in on my creative idea of how to get out of print decks that you really want and not pay exorbitant amounts of money. Um, okay, so this is an example and this is going to be the before video and then I'm going to post the after video. Um, but before I doctor this up, I wanted to do a quick video on the originals to show what I'm doing. So again, this is the before video and then I'll post the after. But for example, you can use any deck, but this is the Ascended Masters from Doreen Virtue that's now out of print, which if you go to eBay, people are charging like over $200 for this particular deck, which I just refuse to do. I mean, I will not pay it's a ridiculous amount of money for um, cards in my opinion and um, but this Ascended Masters deck has been calling me for a number of years and I can never get my hands on it and um, I only pay more for decks really if it's an artist, an indie artist, it's their natural paintings or it's really one of a kind and uh, even then maybe I'll pay like $50 is like the max I've ever really paid for something. Um, but once you start going over $100 for a deck, it just doesn't seem reasonable to me personally if it's out of print. So I had this brain fart when I was, I had insomnia when I, I was like, I want this Ascended Masters and I am not going to pay $200. So what I did, <laughs> you're going to laugh, but you can notice here, it's Russia. It's a Russian version of this which I have to tell you, I got this on eBay uh, for like $30, and that includes the shipping. And this is an out-of-print deck, so instead of going for the English version that cost $100, $200, I thought to myself as I was getting lulled to sleep, almost in that dream state, why don't I just buy this Russian version for $30, and then I can doctor up and translate it to the English. So let me show you what the Russian cards look like, and then in the after video, I'll show you what happened, what I did when I got done doctoring it to read English. Um, I'll show you what my idea is, and we'll see how it comes out. But first, I wanted to do a quick video. Of course, we're not going to understand any of this, but it comes with this guidebook. Um, beautiful, which I won't understand anything, but I don't look at guidebooks anyway. Um, so if you're looking for an out of print deck where you don't really need the guidebook, um, this could be like a little trick or tip, you know, that you might want to try. Let's see how it comes out. I mean, this is the before video, but, um, all right. So the cards, they're gorgeous. I'll show in the after video. Of course, the backs of the cards will remain the same. There's no Russian words on here. It's fine. Really pretty image here. And, um, they're not gilded, which I can self-gild them. I have the ink stamps, so I can gild these cards if I want um, myself. And then on the cover, what I'm thinking of what I'm going to do is see how they have the keyword up here. I have no idea who this guy is because I can't understand the Russian word. And down here it has the keyword, I assume. I'm going to go and look at the English versions. And I bought, like, labels. I might try labels. In the after video, you'll see what I d ended up deciding to do. Um, I was thinking definitely using silver ink, just because I like silver, and I might write it right above or to the side of it, the English translation, or I might actually put a label here covering the whole thing and putting the English word here. I'm going to see. But what I decided to do was, see, this is the before. Like, I have no idea what this says. Um... But look up the English translation and write it on the card or put a label here and write the English word down. So then I have the card. So instead of paying, look at this, this has to be Archangel Michael. Instead of paying $200 for an English version to get a $30 version of a Russian version and just translate it on your card, um, what's the big deal? I, I want to see how it comes out. Look at this. This has to be Ganesh, right? Some of these you'll know right away. Some of them I have no idea. I have no idea what that is in Russia. But I'm thinking, I'm going to see. I'm going to look up the English translation and either write it really small or, again, I'll put a whole label across. And at least I have the cards. $30 instead of $100, $200. 
um, I'm just happy I have it in my hands, to be honest, and the messages will end up being the same. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick run through of my idea, my creative weird idea that I had as I was drifting off to sleep. Like, because I remember looking at eBay and being like, oh my God, this deck is $200 English version, but then Russia version is like 30. Um, why not try getting the Russian version and then translating it into English? I thought I was brilliant. Now, you know when you have those thoughts at 3 a.m. in the morning that you think are brilliant and then it comes out horrible? Well, I'm taking a chance. Oh, this has to be Nada, Lady Nada. I mean, some of these you even know already, but um, we'll see how it comes out. But I thought for myself and for anyone who's interested, I was going to do a before video before I start messing it all up and translating it. Um, I just wanted to show what the cards look like originally and then we'll see how the finished product comes out after I translate it to English but if this works I'm saying right now what a fabulous way to get out of print decks at a lower cost than being completely gouged by 100 200 whatever um, some of these some decks that are out of print I mean I'm only using this as an example if this comes out okay I might try other out of print decks they gouge oh my goodness some decks are like hundreds and hundreds and it's like come on so if this works um i really would look into using this as a way to get out of print decks at a much cheaper cost you get it in a different language and then just translate it yourself into english and at this point if you're really savvy with tarot and oracle you're not looking at the guidebooks much anyway so it's no big loss if you can't translate the whole guidebook i mean you kind of don't use the guidebook um, so I don't think of that as a huge loss in particular. Um, so I'm doing this before video. I will post the after video after I figure out how I'm going to do this. Um, but I'm thinking English uh, translations, you can find that easily on another YouTube video. Go to the review and keep pausing the video so you can make out what the English is and put it on the card. And that's what I'm going to try and attempt to do. So this was my before video of this out of print deck. This is the Ascended Masters. And again, this is the Russian version that I am bought. And I'm going to then translate it and um, make it English for myself at a fraction of the cost. So we'll see how it turns out. So welcome, this was my before video with the creative idea. We'll see how it turns out. When I'm done, I'll post the after video and you can see if it worked or not or if it's something that you might want to try too. Take care. Bye. See you in the after video.